Thanks very much for going through. This is an internal video of just a basic. There will be a part two of the Google Drive. Most important thing for bridge technicians, we are like a service ticket company. My backbone is doing service tickets. We have a Google Drive. Keep in mind, when you have a Gmail account, you have your personal Google Drive, and then you have our company one. So you might want to make it a bookmark. It's our official drive. Since I'm an admin, I have office access. Now, I'm just gonna give you a little peek because there's a lot of different levels on here. So we have training, we have our insurance forms, we have payroll, we have documents, we have our, all our legal stuff. You guys aren't gonna see that unless you take over. Tech access is our bread and butter. Now, what's in tech access? The most important things that you guys as the technicians are gonna see is blueprints and on-site photos. Down here in the root directory, there will be all our forms. Every single form that is important in life is gonna be on here. We're gonna have our probationary period. We're gonna have our insulation pre-insulation checklist. For our senior guys or crew leaders, we have a project checklist. We have service tickets. We have recommendations, we have quote forms, we have change orders, inventory sign out when people are equipped with gear, they are responsible to have it. We have our reviews, we have everything. We even have our price list and we have examples of most of our paperwork. There will be another video of the service technician form, service ticket, but we have our pricing over here. Anything that nobody doesn't know about pricing, um, you can always call the office. Two big things on the Google Drive as the owner, what I always look at. Blueprints, on-site photos. I want to be crystal clear. A lot of times people forget binders, papers, all that good stuff. You have sections. We have a residential section, which is about 10% of our business, and then our commercial. Right here is new clients, existing clients. You can also go right up into here into the search function and find people. But if you're ever looking for blueprints, you want to find your people. Uh, let's just pick on CDL. CDL, we have multiple sites in here. We have multiple projects. So any of the blueprints that are updated are going to be right in here for easy access. So if you forget your folder or paperwork, you can go straight to the drive. Victoria with some great information. So also this also will have any um, installation guides as well, not just blueprints, it's any specific project items from the client. That is great to know as well. So we are getting better at things so we will have blueprints and we will also have the install guides let's just do a current site so we not only will have the blueprints we might have some additional things such as the walkthrough let's just take a look at that we will have pictures sometimes they will be labeled but a lot of times even before you get on site you can see what your environment is so a good technician would take a look Perhaps the night before, instead of watching Netflix or Tony Robbins, actually that's a good one, but you can take a look at the site pictures and also the maps. So again, you'll always have access. There is not an excuse where if you forget your project checklist or your blueprints, there's no excuse of not knowing what's going on. We have enabled you guys with your smartphones to take a look at blueprints. Now, the big thing is too is on-site photos when you guys are going out there. We have all our pictures online. I wanna be clear on that. So we have residential, we have commercial. So we're just gonna pick on commercial for right now. David's Bridal. David's Bridal. We'll go into there. We'll have multiple shots, multiple folders. When you are, there will be another video how to submit pictures, but this is what's important. I'm not able to go to every site. 
I should be every site, but in different um, sections, this is a bigger site with multiple projects and stuff like that. You will have your cert, you will have your cabling reports. The cabling reports are proof in the pudding. So that our customers, when they say, ah, oh, this don't work, I jiggled the cable. Uh, hey, Skippy, take a look at this certification reports. And this gives us the, the uh, concrete example of, yes, we did a great job. Here's your things. The, you know, things happen. Now, also in these folders, if you are a crew leader or a um, senior technician, you will have copies of the project checklist. Project checklist is so that we can hand off sites from uh, technician to technician. Ouch. Um, and once again, we're just doing a brief overview. Not going to go too granular. So again, the big thing on when we close out, we have the cabling reports. We have the daily things that might be weekly, but the last hurrah is the cabling reports and site photos. So multiple days on site. You don't wait till the last minute. You don't wait for two weeks because we move too fast. At the end of the day, you do this. Take a knee, submit your pictures. Because if not, I don't know what's going on and neither does the next guy. So we're just gonna take a look at this mid-progress and hopefully we'll get this. As we're scanning over here, there's multiple shots of multiple things. I'm not gonna go through every picture. This is key for technicians. You are responsible for taking your pictures for stuff that you do. Now, I'm just gonna show you an example, right? If you're working on an outlet like this, I don't wanna see a picture way up over here. That's all great and stuff like that. But if I take a picture of this, I wanna be able to see the label. You know, I want to see that this one is there. Now, I also need a second shot from this angle, and it's going to clearly capture your workspace. So a lot of times, it's great. I'll get a close-up shot of a label and an outlet. This is voltage, but we're low voltage. But I'll get a label, and then, but I'm not seeing what's underneath here. I'm not seeing the environments. I'm not seeing some dude's hands all ripped up I'm only seeing this picture so I need to see a picture of this and the workspace so again to be clear I need a picture of this and the workspace because a lot of times customers will be like oh no that guy you know he, he was just dirty um, so I want to always have my people's back and it also keeps quality assurance now just real quick what am I talking about in location over the labels some of these things like APs, biscuit boxes, you're not gonna take a far away picture all the time, but you can clearly see that all our jacks or the end locations are labeled. We have collected a training courses. We have all the available information. This PDF right here, and I have a hard copy book. It is 12 chapters. 12 chapters. I don't even know if that's permanent, but this is what I'm saying is 12 chapters in that book. If you take one chapter a week or the hell with it, a month after a year, you will be an expert and your income will be unlimited if you know exactly what's in that book. But if you just take a look at this little book here, you will know exactly what it means to be a structured cabling. So many people don't even bother to take a look at this. So um, we have NEC, we have the fire codes, we have all kinds of available training. So if you want to advance yourself in life, take advantage of what we've already collected. And there's also certs in here. So any of our training, we have a huge, huge thing with training. Not a lot of people look at it for some reason. So again, going back to on-site photos, let's see if this erases. Oh, I got lucky. Anyway, on-site photos. The main thing is you want to be able to have access to your blueprints and you want to be able to provide your on-site uh, photos. 
I'll pause now and we're going to break out to other videos. Thanks very much for taking a look at internal training with Bridge Cable. Thank you.